Where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. God has given us unlimited treasures in his word. Every time we open it, we can discover a new treasure or admire an old one. What will we find today? Let's dig in. Here's Carla Early with Treasure Hunt in the Word. We learn a lot from our parents, don't we? I remember the exact moment I realized my parents weren't always right. It was when I was a young mother. This wasn't a discounting of everything my parents stood for, like a rebellious teenager. It was a realization that they too were fallible human beings. I suddenly understood that my mom and dad had done their best with what they had and lived by what they knew was true and right. Yet their culture, their family, and their circumstances shaped them. And they weren't always right about everything. Jotham, king of Judah, must have had this realization sometime early in his life as well. You may not remember him because the scripture only gives him in a few verses, but I think we can get some treasure from him. Jotham saw how his father, King Uzziah, reigned, and how he would follow the Lord and did what was right, seeking the Lord, doing good for his people. But Jotham also saw his father's pride, that led to his destruction when he entered the temple to burn incense. Though the priests warned him that he had overstepped his authority, instead of repenting, he got angry, and God struck him and made him a leper. Because of this, Jotham had had to take over the kingly duties even before he began his own reign, because his father had to live separated from his family and his people. I've talked to many people whose parents have rebelled against God, and they've had to learn many hard lessons because of it. Sometimes they've ended up following their parents into sin, but others have found the Lord through their trials and clung to him as they learned from their mistakes and the mistakes of their parents. Jotham, I think, learned from his father. He chose to follow the ways of his father before his bout of pride. And the Bible records that Jotham did what was right in the sight of the Lord, and he became mighty because he prepared his ways before the Lord his God. I liked that verse. The New Living Translation translates it this way. So Jotham became powerful because he was careful to live in obedience to the Lord his God. The NIV says he walked steadfastly before God. Others say he was determined to please God and he made the Lord his guide. The Hebrew words here show a forethought. Before problems came up, Jotham already had it in his mind, firmly fixed that he would obey God no matter what. He was ready. His heart was prepared. He set the course of his life, his moral character, in God's path, and God blessed him. We can learn a lot from this. If we already predetermined to obey the Lord, our path is set, ready to go. When a fork comes in the road or a problem arises, we've already trained ourselves to go to God and follow his guidance. Now, this doesn't mean that we won't stumble or make mistakes along the way. My parents have, and I'm sure I have too. Jotham did too. Second Kings 15.35 says he didn't remove the high places. He still allowed his people to sacrifice to idols and be corrupt. But he followed the Lord and became mighty because he had prepared his heart ahead of time. How have you prepared your heart for whatever may come your way today? You can contact us at treasurehuntintheword at gmail.com. We'd love to hear the treasures God has given you through his word. You can listen to other episodes at our website, which you can find in the description below. Thanks for listening, and remember, where your treasure is, there will your heart be also.